Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. When will cars truly drive themselves? When will they know what I'm thinking? When will they fly? And more importantly, when will cars actually transform into giant robots? On this 175 acre site in Higashi Fuji, Japan, we have decided to build a prototype town of the future, where people live, work, play, and participate in a living laboratory. Imagine a fully controlled site that would allow researchers, engineers, and scientists the opportunity to freely test technologies such as autonomy, mobility as a service, robotics, smart home connected technology, AI, and more in a real world environment. Biarak and his team, the Biarak Ingalls Group, also known as BIG, have created some of the most exciting and groundbreaking new architecture currently being built around the world. Gram skyscrafters in Vancouver and in New York, to the number two World Trade Center, to Google, this is our vision. Please welcome Bjarka Ingalls. So we started by splitting the typical street into three separate forms of mobility. The first type is the faster transportation, and every vehicle is autonomous with zero emissions, and street trees create the necessary distinction between people and vehicles. The second type will be an urban promenade shared by pedestrians and slower personal mobility. And the final type of street will be a linear park with paths for pedestrians only. So imagine walking from one part of town to the other, moving only through a park. So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. So this is one of the city's typical blocks. The roofs are clad in photovoltaic tiles to power the city. All of the buildings are made primarily out of carbon neutral wood, and they combine the traditional craft of Japanese wood joinery with new robotic production methods. In a way, we can preserve and evolve the old traditions through new technology. Below ground, we find the entire infrastructure of the city, including its hydrogen power storage and water filtration systems. A network for the autonomous delivery of goods also takes place underground and connects directly to the buildings above. And of course, the best part is that these homes will have spectacular views of Mount Fuji. And the e-pallets will also help create flexible programming in the central plaza, making the plaza the rebirth of the marketplace, the town square, or even the fairground. So in an age when technology, social media, and online retail is replacing and eliminating our natural meeting places, the woven city will explore ways to stimulate human interaction in, in the urban space. After all, human connectivity is the kind of connectivity that triggers well-being and happiness, productivity and innovation. To build an entire city from the ground up, even on a very small scale like this, is in many respects the opportunity of lifetime. We plan to build our city in the virtual world first, creating a digital twin that will allow us to test our theories before we build. We will be able to test AI technology in both the virtual and the physical world maximizing its potential. So by now, you may be thinking, has this guy lost his mind? <laughs> Is he like a Japanese version of Willy Wonka? <laughs> Perhaps. But I truly believe this is a project that can benefit everyone, not just Toyota. And as global citizens, I believe it's up to all of us 
especially corporations like Toyota, to do our part to help make the world a better place. It's a responsibility and a promise we don't take lightly. Thank you very much.